Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, was the mother of the present Queen of England and always held a special place in the hearts of the British people. She was born the Honourable Elizabeth Angela Marguerite Bowes Lyons in the summer of 1900. The ninth child in what would become a family of ten, she was a vivacious tomboy and became known affectionately as the Imp. Educated at home by her mother and governess, Elizabeth was fluent in French by the age of 10. As Elizabeth grew up, her charm and personality made her very popular. She was introduced to Prince Albert at a dance in 1920, and it said he fell in love at first sight. At Westminster Abbey in April 1923, Bertie, the Duke of York, and the second son of King George V, married Elizabeth Bowes Lyons. The Duke and Duchess led an ordered and settled life with their two small daughters, the Princesses Elizabeth and Margaret. But their quiet life was soon to change forever. In January 1936, King George V died and he was succeeded by the Prince of Wales. But 11 months later, he abdicated the crown to marry a divorced American, Wallace Simpson. As next in line to the crown, Albert, known as King George VI, was crowned, but he was unprepared to rule, but with Elizabeth's devoted support, he became one of the country's best-loved monarchs. The Second World War brought the king his most severe test. Despite strong advice that Queen Elizabeth and the princesses should leave London for Canada, the queen refused to go. Even after Buckingham Palace was bombed, she stayed in the capital throughout the war. Both she and her husband travelled all over Britain, visiting bomb-ravaged cities, bringing hope and comfort to their people. The King and Queen celebrated their silver wedding anniversary, and King George spoke to the nation of the inspiration he received from 25 years of marriage. But just four years later, in 1952, the king died at the age of just 56. Never was the passing of a monarch marked with such deep sorrow. Without a son, his elder daughter Elizabeth succeeded him, returning from a state visit to Africa with her husband, Prince Philip. For the young Queen Elizabeth II, the support of her mother was invaluable. The generational change from queen to queen mother did not mean that she could sit back and relax in retirement. Quite the opposite, in fact. The Queen Mother had no intention of giving up her public duties, and as the years rolled by, she continued to serve with engagements at home and overseas. She kept up a schedule of work that would have taxed someone half her age. At the age of 97, the Queen Mother underwent a second hip replacement operation, and days later managed to walk out of the hospital unaided to the cheers of a waiting crowd. As the world moved into a new millennium, the Queen Mother celebrated her 100th birthday, and more than 7,000 people from the Queen Mother's charities participated. It was this genuine love of people that kept her in the country's heart. She was as comfortable with the man on the street as with her family and friends. It was her gracious manner and ready smile which endeared her to people. Many will remember her as the woman who established a global benchmark for kings and queens during changing times. Many will remember her as the smiling woman who brought charm, sincerity and dignity to the British throne. At her passing, at the age of 103, her nation wept and the whole world mourned. Ha 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 ha!